Southern waterfowlers ain't about style, grace, or posing for the cover of some ritzy sporting magazine. It's a no-holds-barred fist fight with Mother Nature by a group of men dedicated to choking the life out of a mallard duck. The lodging is comfortable, the food is home-cooked, and the atmosphere will make you feel like you're coming home whether it's your first trip or if you've been in the family for years. We're looking for anybody willing to pick up a club and join the fight because at Southern Waterfowlers, this ain't just what we do. This is what we are. Outdoors Airway has teamed up with Southern Waterfowlers Guide Service for a flooded timber duck hunt on Arkansas's Grand Prairie. The ducks haven't been moving the past few days, so the guys are out trying a new spot this morning in hopes of finding the ducks for a special guest who's due to arrive tomorrow. Tim came in here ahead of us in another boat, so they got ducks up all the way from about the time they left the boat ramp coming in here, so. We're looking forward to getting in them here in just about. Where was that hole at, Tim? 30 minutes. Right there behind you. Everything's froze up and has been. And it's cloudy this morning and snowing a little bit. You're usually hunting in the timber. You want a clear, pretty day. But with everything froze up, I think it's going to be just as good today as it would be if it was clear and pretty. So uh, we're looking for big things to happen here in the next little bit. And hopefully it will. Cracker mallard. Look how big that joker is. That was two one shot. Saving shield. It's 7.32 and we like two ducks having four lemons. It ain't been too bad this morning. But I think it's been real good this morning. Our work here is done. Tomorrow is a very special day. We've got a young man named Tyler Nuthalls that's coming down to hunt with us. Uh, from He's from Wisconsin. And they booked a hunt with us through uh, Hunt of a Lifetime. And Tyler's uh, Hunt of a Lifetime wish was to come down and hunt in the Green Timber, Arkansas. And we, we hope uh, we can do tomorrow what we did today. And we got him down here for three days and we're gonna I'm gonna try to show him a good time, and if it's anything like it was well, this morning, it'll be great. It'll be good. It'll all these ducks good. just keep coming flogging and, in here. And if we can, if we can kill ducks the next day or two while he's here, and we don't ever kill another, we'll be happy. You know, Tim, that couldn't have been said any better. And it looks like y'all picked out a great spot. But you better get a move on. You still got breakfast to cook, a lot of ducks to pick and a trip to the airport to pick up Tyler and his grandfather, Mr. Ron. 
You know, they say even colder weather's on the way. Hopefully it'll bring some more ducks with it. And we'll see you in the morning on Tyler's first Arkansas duck hunt. Southern waterfowlers ain't about style, grace, or posing for the cover of some ritzy sporting magazine. It's a no holds barred fist fight with Mother Nature by a group of men dedicated to choking the life out of a mallard duck. The lodging is comfortable, the food is home cooked, and the atmosphere will make you feel like you're coming home whether it's your first trip or if you've been in the family for years. We're looking for anybody willing to pick up a club and join the fight because at Southern Waterfowlers, this ain't just what we do. This is what we are. We're back this morning with Tyler and his grandfather, Mr. Ron. We've got ducks coming in just before shooting hours and we're looking forward to a great day. There is nothing better than a lemon of mallards in the timber, but it's time to load up and head back to camp. And even though record lows and snow is forecast for in the morning, you can bet Tyler and the boys will be back. Don't miss episode two of Tyler's Hunt of a Lifetime and watch as things heat up when the temperature drops out.